Can you talk a little bit about uh, the relationship of what's going on in California with this lawsuit, with these uh, work rules, these employment rules? What does the landscape look like uh, nationally? Um, and do you see this as something that, if you win in California, can have national impact? Uh, California has certain rights guaranteed on education in the Constitution that are not guaranteed everywhere. So can you talk about the impact of this California case on the national picture? Right, that's a very good point. California's Constitution is different where there's California Supreme Court decisions that stress the right of uh, the obligation of courts to enforce those rights. Uh, those Cal the constitutions in other states are different, court decisions are different. But we, do, we are seeing, as we heard this morning, states like Massachusetts and Florida and other states are all way ahead of what's happening in California. One of those charts that we threw up it shows California getting an F you know, in education. It, as, as someone, um, I got to California when I was eight years old, so I lived there for a long time and went to public schools, and I, and, and I have an enormous um, admiration for California and the, uh, the, the spirit of the 49ers, the beautiful um, seacoast and the beautiful mountains and the entrepreneurial spirit in, in Silicon Valley and the, and the building of the aircraft industry and the entertainment industry, which is the envy of the world. Why should California be descending to last in education in this country? It's a tragedy. And the point that you make with respect to what effect will it be, we hope that the effect will be other states or other lawyers and other states and other people working together will figure out a way. Maybe their state is different, but that means just maybe if you can take the concept of we can m draw attention to the fact that we must help these students and we're not doing it and we're and, and each day that goes by, we're causing irreparable damage to millions of our citizens and potential voters and, and, and people that would participate. So if people get focused on this, uh, and there, there's, there's going to have to, that's the job of lawyers, so to speak. The, we try to figure out what is the way to solve this particular problem? What is the way to make people see it in the light that will help us succeed? Mm -hmm. So we hope that we'll stir, sort of start a little bit of a snowball effect throughout the country, but it sort of, we're having to catch up with what's going on in other places.